Hi guys, so today we're going to do a small painting with the new lighting in the studio. So here we go. Still waiting to get the microphone. That should arrive probably next week. And I'm still trying to figure out camera angles, how I want to set things up so I can talk to you guys and not feel like uh, you're listening to the back of my head. And for now, when I record something like this, it's only, max could be like 15 to 30 minutes from what I understand. Uh, and I think that's guidelines laid down by uh, Instagram, YouTube. I've got to do more research on that. Well, for those of you that are having Thanksgiving this week, I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Good meal. Hope everybody stays safe. Remembers to social distance and wear those masks. So one of my goals, guys, with the studio is to do educational videos. You know, have something that you could purchase a small collection of courses, you know, watch at your leisure. It would be something that I would edit. It would have music. But the nice thing about having an edited video series is I can make it as long as I need to. You know, and I can also edit cut through some of the stuff. Like me talking. So people have asked me, what's up with all the pictures on the walls? It started out, I was putting up pictures of family and friends, and then I started thinking about all the other people I've met in my life. And so I started making sort of a visual map of uh, people I had met, stories that I had heard from friends and family about people they had met, you know, and I started thinking about people that inspired me as an artist, as a creative person. And that's where all of this really grew out of. You know, you'll see some things from my favorite films. You'll see uh, pictures of people like uh, Alex Haley when I was a teenager. Uh, I used to work at SNS Cafeteria. And Alex Haley, the author of uh, Roots and the autobiography of Malcolm X, he worked with Malcolm X on that. He would come in every Sunday, he'd have lunch, and uh, he'd get some uh, pumpkin pie to take home with him, and I'd get him the box. So I got to talk to him some about his books. Uh, I had seen the TV series, Roots, I knew who he was, I had seen interviews with him, but I hadn't read the book, and he encouraged me to read it, and I read Roots, and I read the autobiography of Malcolm X, and... Uh, I have to say, I have never read a book that I didn't learn something from. Those were two really good books, powerful books. And I know there's been a little bit of controversy since Alex Haley's death over Roots. You know, maybe he dramatized some things in the book. Maybe uh, they didn't happen exactly the way he said they did. Uh, so there was some criticism. I don't, but you know, I like the guy. So I've got him up there. I've got uh, Laurie Anderson. I love Laurie Anderson. Laurie Anderson is alumni of my school in Chicago, uh, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Who else have I got up there? I've got David Prowse as Darth Vader. I must have met him 25 years ago. He's a big man. He went to shake my hand and his whole hand consumed my hand in just a big, giant, muscular hand grip. And then he asked me if I wanted to buy some of his photos. He's a sweet guy. 
And other people I have up on the wall, Chuck Palahniuk, I don't know if you can see him. There he is down there. Chuck Palahniuk wrote Fight Club. Uh, and it just so happened that a little over 20 years ago, I chose to read Fight Club. Saw the movie. There's a little bit in the story where they talk about if you uh, had like one day to live, what would you do? And one of the guys says, I'd paint a self-portrait. Well, I had never done that before. I had a friend who painted portraits. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to paint my first self-portrait. And I did that about 20 years ago. And I just kept painting from live and doing abstraction ever since. And actually, when I first moved to Chicago to go to school at SAIC, I briefly worked at Barnes & Noble out on the DePaul campus in the Loop. And one day, Chuck Palahniuk came in because his plane was going to be late at O'Hare. And so I was on duty that day, and I got to talk to him, you know, and I told him, you know, thanks for writing the book. It, uh, it helped change my life. Between my friend that liked to paint portraits and his book, I got inspired to start painting. And the whole time we were standing there talking, he was writing in one of his books that was at the counter. And uh, when he was done, he shook my hand, and he had written two whole pages of stuff to me. He wrote a little miniature story. It was great. B.B. King's on the wall. I lived in Chicago. I went to the 25th Annual Blues Fest. B.B. King was there. He said he was there at the first, and he was there for the 25th. So I got to see him live in concert for free. Got to see a lot of free concerts in Chicago. New York, not so much. New York, if you want to see a concert, you're paying to see that concert. Hmm. <sighs> We're doing pretty good on the time, guys. It's only about seven minutes. I'm used to working so much larger, but I figured until I get the editing equipment, there wasn't really much opportunity to get the camera outside because it's iPhone and uh, set it up before I had any kind of uh, decent tripod and shoot, you know, laying some stuff out on the concrete uh, and painting that way, which that may be something I do this winter and next summer. You know, one of the things I'm hoping, guys, is as I do these uh, videos, opportunities will open up in other, you know, other studios, maybe people will have some space that I can paint in. You know, we can go there and uh, we can do this there and we can do it on a larger scale. Because I like working big. I can work fast. I'm spending a lot of time on this little canvas. I don't know if you watched any of my other videos, but I could do three or four of these canvases in the time that I've just been working on this one. You know, and that's not to say that I'm not having fun. I am. Um, I just like working on a larger surface because I can really cut loose and, uh, you know, put on some good music. You know, I like to listen to a variety of everything. I can listen to Miles Davis. You know, I can listen to Metallica. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It really just has to do with my mood, what type of day it is. I even listen to Billie Eilish sometimes, and my son has no idea who she is. And I didn't know who she was in the beginning, because all the kids were talking about her. But Billie Eilish is really good. If you haven't listened to any of her stuff, you might check her out. 
Sometimes I listen to classical music. Today I'm not listening to any. Because I've been hearing about people having uh, issues with not paying for music. So when we have some more music on here, guys, I'm paying for it. How are we doing on time? We went about 10 minutes. I might have to break this up. I really like that orange, it pops. Back when I was in college the first time, I went to a community college and we were told that they would remove a letter grade from our work if we used bright orange because it was the color of the local football team. I do know that people like bright colors. I like colors like cobalt blue. Uh, I like deep purples, you know, rich reds, turquoise. Uh, and then, of course, this orange that I've been using. I think it really pops. I like it for abstract paintings. I don't think I would use it if I were doing someone's portrait, which, when I get some more large cradle board, we're going to do some portraits. I've been drawing portraits now for a while. I haven't been painting portraits uh, just because I haven't had any commissions. But here's the thing, everything you see, this stuff's going to be for sale. So, you know, if you like it, uh, you should be able to see my email on my, my page. Uh, just get in there and send me a message. You know, we can talk a little bit about some work. I'm going to maybe look at doing some limited edition prints of some of this work as well. All right, guys, I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much. And uh, like I said, for those of you having a Thanksgiving holiday, I hope you have a great meal with friends and family. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.